What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jacob Polacco, live on the set in Singapore. I just pulled up to SunTech and I'm ready to step in, get my uh, press badge and check out the opening ceremony for Pro Wine 18. Check it out. It's my pleasure to join you here this morning at the opening ceremony of FHA 2018 and Pro Wine Asia 2018. Now let me first take this chance to welcome all our guests who's come from all over the world, different parts of the world, to join us at this event. Welcome to Singapore. Woo! Congratulations, William Hotel Asia 2018 and Pro Wine Asia Singapore 2018 is now officially open. So there we have it, Spice Heads. That is the opening ceremony. I got my press pass. Straight official, not me. Just rolled into uh, the Singapore Expo Center and it is dense with traffic and action. I'm going to make this a little bit interactive. Um, another master of wine suggested I try for the uh, uh, qualification. That's an alternative source of income to banking and finance. Not, not, not necessarily a good, good substitute if you want lots of money, but it's, um, it's a lot more fun. A full body in a dry wine is very much related to the level of alcohol. Then that textural element will actually tell you a little bit about the wine. So for example, the white wines, acidity is a key marker. came and went. Uh, I can't say I did that great. I think I got like two of them right. Now there's food to eat. I think there's a Taiwanese place. Fish Inc. I think 
I might have died and gone to uh, some kind of food heaven. Because everywhere I look, there is delicious food waiting for me and people waiting to just put it in my face. And I say, yes, please. Please put that delicious food in my face. The Food and Hospitality's 40th anniversary event brought a crowd of almost 90,000 people from all over the world. And the variety of food showcased that as well. Not only Singaporean food or even Asian food, this would be one of the rare times where I was able to compare a Spanish prosciutto with a French one, taste amazing gorgonzolas that I've never had access to, and other just treats from all over the place. Now we are trying maple water. This is a first for me. That's actually really fantastic. That's really, really good. I'm not quite sure what's even going on anymore. I've eaten pizza, sea cucumbers, sushi, Taiwanese hot pots, Taiwanese beer made out of red quinoa. Uh, there's kind of a UN meeting happening in my stomach right now. So now we are going to a uh, master class on Southeast Asian wines. Basically talking about Southeast Asian viticulture. I am a trained winemaker. Some know me as the flying winemaker. The facts and figures genuinely highlight the fact that Asian wines need to be spoken about, um, but also need to be benchmarked like every other wine country in the world. And I would say New World is very innovative. It's more about the winemaking, the wine style, and the winemaker. The old world is more about tradition, the place where it's grown, and, and family, and you know, smaller, smaller wineries. 